Hey there, this is Last Username, and this is my light sensor Nano. It's a day-night sensor. Um, it's not the smallest day-night sensor uh, known to man, but it is a very small one, and I think it's probably the most practical small one, but I'll explain why in a bit. Uh, I'm first going to show you how to build it. So, I'm going to start digging a 3x3 three three hole with a grass box like this. Note that there cannot be a grass or dirt block there. It can be air or it can be some other block, but just not grass or dirt, or the machine will act kind of crazy. So, yeah. Um, redstone there and there. Put a lever here, turn it on. Redstone torch there. Sticky piston. Grass block in front of it. That will be the sensor block. That's the block that will change back and forth between grass and dirt to detect day and night. Um, another ring of grass blocks up here. Seven of those. Put two non grass or dirt blocks on top of the piston like that. A glass block in the center and a water block right there. Another redstone torch. And a third layer of grass. It's time nine of them. And a square. Another redstone torch. In line with the other ones. And redstone dust on top of the stone there. And that's it. That's a working day-night sensor. All right, let's take a look at this machine in action. If you can call it action. Set it to night. And wait for the magic to happen. Now what's happening here is uh, that grass block is underwater which is fine during the day when there's light out, but when it gets dark, as soon as the block gets updated, uh, it will see that it's supposed to die. Um, and that will update this piston, which is part of a T bud switch, toggle type bud. So the piston will trigger and push the glass, or push the grass, like that, under the grass, under the glass, and out from under the water. And they both flipped. Um, that will happen, uh, that will take on average 14 seconds. Uh, it may take as little as 1 20th of a second, or as much as the rest of eternity. There's no upper bound on how long it can possibly take, but half the time it will take less than 14 seconds, and half the time it will take more than 14 seconds. So the other phase, time day, um, what happens for Detect Day is a little more complicated. Um, once it's light out, uh, one of these 23 blocks around it will get an update. And when it does, it will choose one of the 45 blocks, 45 locations in range of it. Um, so that's anywhere one block to the side, one block up, or up to three blocks down. And if that block that it chooses is a dirt block, and there's nothing above it, then it will spread grass to that block. So, so what happens has to happen for the machine to detect day is any one of those 23 blocks has to be updated, and then it has to choose the sensor block to update, which it has a 1 45 chance of doing. So that's why it detects day a little slower. Detecting day will take an average of 26 seconds, roughly. Um, and of course, because it uh, it depends as much on these source blocks as it does on the sensor block, uh, you need to have as many source blocks as possible in your light sensor. Um, the maximum you can possibly fit in that 45 
block volume is 25 source blocks. You can't fit any more than that because you'd have to stack them right on top of each other. Uh, and then the ones that are buried would, would not be grasped for very long. So the maximum you could fit is 25, and this machine has 23. So it's probably about as close as you can get to optimal. Um, I've seen some other light sensors that are smaller than this one, but uh, essentially they, uh, they've shrunk the machine by just getting rid of some of the source blocks. Um, and that will slow the machine down, which is probably not a good idea because this machine is bordering on impractical with uh, the time it takes to switch. I mean, 26 seconds doesn't sound like a long time, but that's just the the median time. Uh, it can take um, like a couple of minutes on some occasions. So uh, this is probably the most practical uh, small light sensor you can make, in my humble opinion. Um, if you really want a reliable machine, though, you should probably go with one of my other light sensors, like the massive 14X model here. This is 14 times as sensitive as that one, um, and not nearly 14 times as big. So it's a pretty good, uh, makes pretty good economic sense. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to build this, but it's uh, a lot more complicated, so I'm not going to do it right now. But uh, stay tuned, and uh, there'll be a video up sometime in the future giving instructions for this. Till then, um, last username. Enjoy.